So I just finished shooting out outdoors uh, about the Magellan Echo. So it's, this is not a, this is going to be not a detailed fancy where you've got nice close-ups of everything. Just to give you a rough overview of the Magellan Echo watch that you hook up with apps. And Here is a um, as brief as I can make it um, overview of the Magellan Echo smartwatch, and I kind of refer to it as a not so smartwatch. It's actually a watch, and um, what it has is Bluetooth, and so you can connect wirelessly through Bluetooth with your iPhone. I had a, I had a Garmin 305 that was dying on me, and I had to decide, do I, do I want to send it in and get a refurb and spend 80 90 bucks for that, get a new one, um, but I tend to do ultras that are longer events, and so it was not lasting. It would die eventually after six, seven hours. Sometimes it would go longer than that. So. What I thought, I'd try to find a solution that would work a little better for the 50Ks and on. Um, and there are ways around it, you know, if you have more than one watch or whatever. But um, I decided to go with the Magellan Echo, cost me 129 bucks, And it's a regular watch. So that means you use a regular watch battery that can last six months to a year, you know. So um, this is going to keep going. And so I thought, well, let's, I'm going to give this a try instead of going with the traditional GPS running watch. Um, there are some issues though. If you are a, uh, you know, if you just do 5Ks or half or full marathons, perhaps best for you is just the, a regular watch. Um, but for the longer events, uh, I, I think hooking it up with a, one of many apps, and it, it, the list isn't exhaustive yet, but uh, I've got uh, two or three running apps that, that work with this. I think they're up to five or six or seven, and they add more all the time. And the nice thing is when you hook up your smartwatch with the Echo with your iPhone. When you finish, you can export it in formats that will go to Garmin Connect and some others as well. Here's the issue. If you're going, if you're going to run, be running long, we know this bad boy is going to keep going. The issue is, will the iPhone keep going? Okay? And there are, there are a bunch of solutions where you can have this uh, um, attached to a battery pack that fits on the back of this. There is external advices. And then what I got was, my friend Ben Benjamin uh, clued me into this. This is an uh, A-N-K-E-R, Anchor, Anchor, um, charging unit. <laughs> Look at it. It's about as big. It's actually heavier and bigger than the phone. But the nice thing is, you can, you plug in, it's got two USB ports. And so I can plug this into the iPhone. And I've got a long cord here. And this thing will charge the iPhone like five or six times. It's a, it really holds a big charge. And so what Ben does, and what uh, I will do now, is I, when I'm running very much, I wear um, a running vest, okay? If I'm going out for a short, shorter amount of time, I, I won't bother with this. So if you're in a 50, 50K, 50 mile, 100 mile race, uh, if, you wear, if you wear a vest, if you don't, then this is not gonna work for you. But if you wear a vest, you can put this in the back or wherever you want it, plug this into the iPhone and just set it away because what you're gonna do is start the app and you're going to see all the information here on the smartphone, on, on the smartwatch, from your phone, okay? And so I'm going to show you some close-ups of setting this thing up and um, see what you think of it. Again, you've got, if you're going to go long distances, this, this is the key issue. You've got to keep the power, um, you've got to keep this charged up. So if you want to, you can just use this as a regular watch. They've got some different colors I got to bright orange so I will they can find my carcass if I fall down um, it's got an accelerometer in it so if you just don't move or set it down the blank the screen goes blank because it's not um, it's not working and I know I'm gonna get some reflection on here but I'm primarily gonna be showing you stuff off the off the app this is a, a utility it's called the echo utility that comes uh, you download it and this so I'm going to um, you can just use it to set up a few things so I, it says connect here, so I'm going to press connect. It says make sure the echo is turned on. So I'm going to hold this button, and then there's a, um, arrows here back and forth. That means it, we want to connect it, so I'm going to push that button. So it's searching. It says it's attempting to connect. And so it says, it's got, it says echo utility on there right now, so I'm going to Push the button next to the check mark. And now 
I have choices of how to set this up and I'm not going to go real exhaustive on this but uh, for example uh, display settings I can choose if I want it analog or digital so you can have it so it looks like a, a regular clock or go digital and do you want the text black or inverted so you can change that under display settings you can um, you have date and date and time options okay um, what language you want to use and just some basic not not a whole bunch of options how you want the time format and how you want the date format so we've got those kind of things going on with the utility okay so one thing whenever you're going you're ready to set up start with an app I'm gonna push and hold down the top left button and there that's where you get the the two arrows back and forth to connect so I've got that ready so I'm I've got some apps here so I'm gonna push Wahoo Fitness and I'm gonna go to sensors and I'm going to push go ahead and look searching and so it shouldn't take too long it's, it says on here moments fitness so it's now connected with this so it's got a check so I'm gonna push that button it's now syncing with my app okay and it usually goes pretty fast this can take forever and there it goes it's almost all the way across and immediately goes to the first screen that I've got set okay and with this program I'm gonna go back it's found the sensor and I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna go to um, audio announcements and so you can create an announcement or edit I'm gonna go in and press edit and so what I've got is right now it's set to every half mile okay and uh, if, if right now that that's fine for me because uh, if, if you don't know me uh, I was in a, a pretty bad wreck uh, 12 14 weeks ago five pelvic fractures all the rest I'm healing I'm getting there but I really all I can do is walk right now so um, half a mile is okay for me if I, you don't have to have any audio announcements at all because it's all on the phone you um, I mean on on the coming from the phone to the Echo Magellan and it gives me all the information that I need and so what I can do here it says edit sound bites and so I can choose here all the different things I want I can choose total workout time laps current pace average pace for the workout what speed you're going your distance and it goes on and on heart rate if you have that so all the typical stuff anything that's in the normal running app that you're used to it's here and so I set that up with sound bites and then what I can also go what I can also do is set up uh, the screens so what we see on the the screen on the echo watch that is Bluetooth connected to your app and again I'll repeat you can send the information when you're done you can export it to a ton Strava and map my run and all those if you use that use those programs so you're not limited to just you know proprietary software that only goes with this so I'm gonna click on uh, down here in the bottom it says sensors and we are it's already got the echo chosen it's it's already connected now so I'm gonna push that and then it says display configurations so you know I could go on forever here but what you do is you can set it up for the different screens what you want to show on each screen you can show one thing or or a couple of different things and um, you also can choose buttons and so you've got four buttons plus a touch screen and so you can set up each button to do a variety of things so I'm gonna push as if I'm gonna change this one I can set it up to show the previous page the uh, the next page start the um, start pause resume workout um, music control the music and then when you if you push music then it'll, then you can also choose to start music go back a track or whatever so I'm gonna cancel that but you can set up each button to do what you want it to do it's very very slick it's very easy to do when you push on a button on any of these down here it gives you all these choices and then if you choose music it has another set so you can choose what you want each button to do
once you, once you get it all set up, uh, you can choose, you can have a button that starts the app, or you can just start it from here. You know, it's however you want to do it. So you can push a button, it'll start it, put this in your vest pocket or your running pocket or whatever, and go for your run. You can have it auto pause. Um, you don't have to have any audio announcements at all. You can just have it from here or you can have both. I can see this, uh, it'll every mile g give me the rundown and it can, duck the, it can duck the music so the music drops down and you hear the announcement if that's what you want. However you want to control it. So it's very user friendly and each app is different. Some apps have you, you can swipe across the screen. Some you control by buttons. So I've got two or three apps and they all work differently. They all don't give you the choice of setting up the buttons. So that's what I kind of like about this um, Wahoo Fitness thing. Because um, then I can send the information to any of my programs. So anyway, this is the Magellan um, Echo smartwatch that works with all kinds of apps. As long as you keep this, that your iPhone charged, you can go forever and it will keep all the information for you. So there's a semi-fast rundown of this watch. See what you think. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And off we go. And so, come, it says workout is active, and here we go. So, it's showing both on the screen and here, the exact same information. So what it, right now, if I want to, I just push a button and I can go to, this shows that I'm we're barely moving a 27, 25 minute average, okay? And then, so I can scroll through, and what I like is just the, the distance and the total is what, I, is what I like, but you can set it up whatever what you want. So Okay, so I have it set for every half mile. Uh, since I'm walking, that works for me because I'm not fast. If I was going faster, I wanted every mile. Just a second, we're going to stop. Here comes a report at one mile. And we'll stop so we won't have all the bouncing up and down. And she, just a second, here we go. Workout total time, 17 minutes, 34 seconds. Pace, 18 minutes, 27 seconds per mile. Average workout pace, 17 minutes, 32 seconds per mile. Workout distance, 1 miles. So there we go. That's a, that's a typical thing you could have. Most time you probably would want less because it's on your phone. I mean on your on your uh, watch on your wrist so at the moment I've got to set when I push this top button it starts uh, the music and if I push it again it'll go to the next song so you pick a playlist and you can set buttons to go song previous song back so we finished our little jaunt and we went 1.76 miles same on both places so I'm gonna hit pause and stop and I'll save the workout and there we go and you can save it to uh, a whole bunch of different programs uh, map my run Garmin connect just a whole bunch of them so whatever you use it can save info to that